Hello, this is example-based facial rigging. Let's start with a short clip created using blend shapes. So this floating head walks into a bar, and the bartender says, Hey, buddy, what? <sighs> you, know, you know what? I, I don't have anything. This is, I really don't. I'm, if I had legs, I would leave. To create the previous animation, an artist has to model a face in neutral pose and sculpt 29 different expressions. So that's really time consuming. And of course, we want to create those blend shapes more efficiently. Now that's how we do it. We took the generic face model from the book Stop Steering by Jason Ozipa. And the nice thing is that it contains all the 29 blend shape expressions that we need for the animation. The next step is to provide a small set of arbitrary facial expressions that are sculpted by the artist. Nice thing here is that these expressions do not need to match the blend shape model. However, the created blend shape rig should be able to accurately express them. Once we have all the training blend shapes, we create a full blend shape model which semantics correspond to the generic facial prior. And while the differences might seem subtle, a linear combination of the optimized expressions shown on the right are able to capture the input examples as opposed to those shown on the left. What is really nice here is that by providing a number of example expressions, we effectively get rid of the unnatural motion details that are introduced by the generic prior. In addition to hand-sculpted cartoon-like characters, we can also generate a full set of blend shapes for animating realistic-looking faces with input expressions that are captured from 3D scans. Now let me show you some facial retargeting results. So this floating head walks into a bar, and the bartender says, Hey buddy, what? <sighs> You know, you know what? I, I don't have anything. This is, I really don't. I'm, if I had legs, I would leave. So, so this floating head, head walks, walks into a bar, bar and, and the bartender, bartender says, Hey, hey buddy, what? what? <sighs> you know, you know, you know what? what? I, I don't, don't have anything. This, this is, I really, really don't. don't. I'm, if I had legs, legs I, would I would leave. So this floating head walks into a bar, and the bartender says, Hey, buddy, what? <sighs> you, know, you know what? I, I don't have anything. This is, I really don't. I'm, if I had legs, I would leave. To go even further, we tested our algorithm with a more complex generic face prior that contains the full set of fax poses developed by Paul Ackman in the 70s. Now here's a slick demonstration on how we can use our optimized rig to perform art-directable facial tracking. To robustly track facial expressions, the popular approach consists of fitting a blend shape model obtained using PCA dimension reduction onto every input frame. We simply replace the PCA model with our optimized blend shapes, and the advantage we get is that now every shape basis has a semantic meaning, such as open mouth or move up left eyebrow. In this example, we track the facial expressions from an input scan sequence but introduce hand-animated eye blinks, something that's not really possible when using PCA. Now, let's hear what our floating head has to say about this whole thing. Facial performance capture may benefit from our approach. We first capture a set of facial expressions of an app. We then create an optimal blend shape rig with facts poses that fits all the example expressions. Yeah, we use this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you may have realized, I am German. Well, see you next time.